Well, as you saw earlier, it's <clears throat> too windy to fly around here, so I took the time to solder up that little microphone board. The blue wire is the audio out that goes up to the connector that hooks to the 1.2 video transmitter. And then five volts in the center, the red wire and the brown wire is ground. And those two are just on a little DuPont connector that uh, I showed you yesterday. I'll be plugging in where the buzzer would go to pick up five volts on the red wire and the ground on the brown. So that's about it for that pigtail. Eh, wasn't my best soldering work, but it will pass so i guess i'll just fold that wire up like that let that microphone hang out right there it may end up tapping on plastic all sorts of things and i may have to make different plans with it but this will go down in the transmitter part of the 765 wing and this will go right next to, next to it to pick up five volts and ground so there's the whole little pigtail like i say i'm just going to let the microphone swing in the breeze so to speak and we'll see what happens with it so there's the microphone installed uh, you can see the main connector for the video transmitter right there with signal voltage and ground and then over here is ground and voltage coming up to the microphone and the microphone again is just hanging out up here uh, still not sure what to technically do with that it's so small I think it can just hang out so put the wing back on now and test it i did mark the front of the battery with a starting cg mark and have some of the velcro straps holding it down last night i tested the stabilization and found the roll stabilization to be opposite what it was supposed to be so i corrected that uh, I'm not sure I'm going to have enough keep busy work for four days. Three more after this one till Sunday. <laughs> I took the wing and the booms and the tail off as one piece. Boy, I sure wish I could transport it like that. But I think I'm going to have to split that into three pieces for transportation and then the fuselage as another piece I installed the microphone and fired up the sky hunter the OSD doesn't exactly fit my big monitor on the bench but I'm not going to be using it in the field <laughs> wish I could but never going to be able to do that uh, Video looks good. Oops, that end point isn't exactly right for looking behind. So I played with that for a few minutes. Uh, like I say, the pan servo actually goes 420. So I have to limit the travel in both directions to turn it into a 360. But it works really, really well. So here I was just uh, running it over to the side like that, and then back all the way on the potentiometer. And I was inside the radio set up, just messing with that end point, trying to get it tight. You know, I got a lot of time before I can fly, it looks like. So <laughs> I can really, really get down on some fine minutia for spending my time on like assuring that this is centered straight back boy <laughs> don't think it's going to make that much difference it's off a centimeter or so but that's the way I am 
So I also tested the three screens of the OSD. I've changed them around a little too. And see the other direction, it goes really well to straight back. That's not perfect, but I'm going to live with that. Really good video. Say I'll have to test all this in the field. I was using the antenna tower, antenna tree, whatever you want to call it. I have quite an antenna system for the 1.2. That's the third OSD screen, first OSD screen. Only difference in them is um, GPS data. I have the center one now doing the uh, airspeed, ground speed, and altitude. So that went well. And I have to use the antenna tree here uh, with the two 1.2 receivers on them and the Eagle Eyes diversity. I don't mind that. That's why I put it together. Oops, I didn't put my notch filter on for the uh, 915 crossfire. But I will do that. And of course, on the back side of this is the big pepper box 1.2. And then a Omni on top. And then the left side is 5.8 video. Now I can relay this 1.2 video via this 5.8 video transmitter here out this little antenna, which probably isn't a very good antenna now that I look at it, to uh, goggles. So I can take in the 1.2 and relay it out 5.8. So this was testing the sound. Uh, I walked over and tapped on top of the uh, Sky Hunter. You can barely hear it, but it'll be better in the air, I think. So that filled my time all the way up until about 2.30. <laughs> uh, I really do not know anything, well, one uh, thing I can do with the Sky Hunter before flying it. I've pretty much covered everything. Okay, two, I can work on my checklists, which I will do. That'll give me three over three days to work on the checklist. And, and I could set up the... Uh, Crossfire to do the telemetry again now that I've upgraded that to the new version of Crossfire firmware. Uh, I guess in the next three days I will do that at some point out of sheer boredom. <laughs> uh, so working on the checklist and perhaps trying the Crossfire because the little CA UAV radios are not working well at all. Uh, because I have OSD data, because I have now flown a drone airplane and have more confidence in the flight controllers, I don't have as much qualms about flying with bad telemetry on the first few flights where I will have this OSD that you see on the screen. Uh, that, after all, is telemetry. Uh, people who want OSD want telemetry just as bad as I do. I just want a little deeper telemetry. So, again, I have no idea of anything else to do before I get ready to fly this. Thank you.